But let me go back to the uh, Isaiah 58 and 1. All right? And let me get, um, let's see. Let me get Isaiah 1 and 1. I mean, Isaiah uh, 6 and 1. The book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 1. Cry aloud! It's a lot there. Let me get, let me get uh, Joel chapter 2, verse 1. Read. Cry aloud! Spare not! Lift up! Lift up! Lift up! Read. Cry aloud! Spare not! Lift up that voice on the trumpet! And that's what we come out here to do in the last days, man. Is to cry aloud, man. Is to raise up our voice beyond the madness and shake up the dust of our people and let you know that you're going off in the last days, man. That your only true salvation is to come back and serve the Hamashiach and Hawashan and to keep his law, statutes, and commandments, man. Before the missiles hit this place, read. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression. That's all we come out here to do in the last days is to show our people their transgressions, is to show our people that it's not about rolling up and down Glenwood Avenue and, and, and having an orgy fest, man, right? right? Or, or getting drunk all night, man, right. right? This is not what this life is about, man. You've been lied to. You've been given distractions, man. When we come out here with facts in the last days, man, all you people got is distractions. You can't disprove what we saying out here. You understand? So all you can do is walk by and be upset, man. Read what you got. It's the book of Joel, chapter 2, and verse 1. Hey, sisters, do y'all believe in the Bible in the last days? Y'all got time to hear the word of the Lord? Come on, sister. You don't even look like you're having a good time out here. Right? You look like you're ready to go home, sis. Right? Come on now. This ain't for you, sister. Right? They dragged you out here tonight. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> right, read. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion. What? Blow ye the trumpet in Zion. Hey, we come out here to blow the trumpet in Zion in the last days, man. Only right. our people. It's only a sad thing. Our people don't want to hear the word of the Lord. Our people do not want to repent in the last days. Read. And sound an alarm in my holy mountain. And that's what we do. We come out here to sound the alarm in the holy mountain, man. Right? We get ready to go in the trumpets, man. And y'all people don't even understand that. One day these trumpets is going to sound, they're going to blow. Right? You're going to hear them coming from the heavens, man. And y'all going to be shook. Right? Y'all going to say, oh, man, it's that time. Right? But you're going to know what? You didn't have time to listen to the word of the Lord, man. Right. You didn't have time to stop here for five minutes to possibly change your life to serve the Lord before judgment. Right? But you're going to be crying on that day. You're going to be pulling on the Lord, man. And he's going to be kicking your ass off, man. Saying, get the hell away from me, man. Because all you wanted to do was work iniquity. All you wanted to do was come out here in the midst of all these nations, right? And settle and settle with your oppressor. And sister, you got to separate from your enemy in the last days, man. Right? You're not supposed to mix and mingle with this man. All right? Read. Let all the inhabitants of the land. You believe in the Bible? You do? Who is this right here? Is that your God? Jesus. Is that your God? Come show me this is Jesus right here then. You know what I'm saying? Y'all people are finished, man. Y'all don't believe in nothing, man. You believe in fairy tales and garbage, man. Right? The hell are you talking about? Read. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. And that's what we want. We want our people to tremble in fear. But you know what? Our people not trembling in fear. The black woman and black man, man, is not fair, man. Look at it. Look at how our sisters come out here. Do they look like they in fear? Do they look like they are trembling in the last days, man? Nope. Right? This sister said they was protected. We got 16 year olds out here in the midst of all of this madness right Bring here, it out. right? Bring it out. Dressed like whores, man, in the last days. Bring it out. Right? But the so called white man, the devil, come That's out here with his Bible, and he don't teach true repentance to the people. He don't tell the sisters to cover up, man. Nope. He tell you to go ahead and continue to be a whore, right? He tell you to go ahead and continue to go up in these clubs and have a good time, right? Because he don't want you to change. He understands that as long as you are in the midst of sin, his kingdom is going to last, right? right? He understands that. He understands as long as he keep these distractions in front of you, that his kingdom is going to last a little bit longer, right? 
But the Lord is going to shorten the time up, man. What? He's already shortening the time up, man. He's making the earth hotter, right? The damn Europeans got to go in the caves, man. The China man got to go in the caves, man. And y'all finishing the last days, man. What? Right? That suntan lotion ain't going to help you no more, what? man. Right? The melanin, they're going to stop putting the melanin in the suntan lotion for you people, man. Y'all are finished. They're using it for weapons of war and mass destruction. They're not using it for you to be saved in the sunlight no more, man. That's why you got Bill Gates trying to blot out the sun, what? right? You damn devils better wake up and understand, man. You've been tricked too, right? right? And your only salvation is serving and serving the Lord's people. That's it, man. That's the only way that you're going to make it up out of this place is by cleaving on to Jacob in the last days, man. Y'all right, right. better get on board before it's too late. Right. Hey, we want our jewelry too. You understand? I thought you knew. Right. We wanted it too, right? When we left out of Egypt, we took all that jewels. They gave it to us. Right. We're going to take y'all's too. I thought you That's knew. Right. Right. Read. For the day of the Lord coming, for it is nigh at hand. It is nigh at hand, man. The day of the Lord is coming, man. When are you people going to realize that and wake up in the last days, man? You got that Isaiah 1 and 1? When are y'all going to, I mean, Isaiah 6 and 1? Go ahead. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 6 and verse 1. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. And his train filled the temple, man. And when you break that word down, right? When you go in, when you go into the definition of that word, that train that filled the temple, that's going into the Lord's garment, man. That's going into the him, the edge of his garment. And when you break it down, it's going into fringes, man. The Lord was rocking fringes, man. That's the vision that he saw right there. That's what Isaiah saw, man, when the king Uzziah, Azariah died, man. Okay? Um, read, uh, keep going. Verse 2. Above it stood the seraphims, each one had six wings. With twain he covered his face, and with twain he covered his feet. Look at verse 8. Verse 8. Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? And that's right, man. What you see out here, man, just like the Lord put the Spirit on Isaiah in that day, man, this is what you see out here is men that are going out before the face of all you people, right? And letting you know that you're going off. We're standing up for the Lord in the last days, man, right? In the face of all of y'all that hate the Lord in the last days. Y'all hate and despise the word of the Lord, man. Y'all despise the men of the Lord for coming out here speaking truth in the last days. All you want to do is have a party, okay? Shut your mouth. You know it's nothing, okay? We they said I here am I send me you know what send me and that's where you see out here man we have been sent out here to do this will in the last days man right, right. if you believe it or not the scripture said the things that was written aforetime was written for our learning right? right we're coming out here mimicking the same things that the prophets of old did man that is our righteousness and our glory in the last days rather if you people understand it or not man read verse 9 and he said, go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not. And the Lord told us to come out here and hear the word, man. But you ain't going to understand it. Why? Because it ain't for everybody. Right. Hello, newsflash, Mr. Christian man that want to stand on his stool with his microphone. You don't understand the word of the Lord, man. Right. right? It wasn't given to you to understand. It wasn't given to you to break down. Right? Hey, brother, you believe in the Bible? Man, your wife, your wife, if that's your wife, she's finished, and you shouldn't even have her out here tonight, man. You shouldn't even be with her tonight. You need to just go ahead and separate yourself from your oppressor. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Holy Bible, man. All right? Read. And see ye indeed, but perceive not. So you're going you're gonna to see us out here on the corners in the last days, right? Preaching the word, going from precept to precept. Breaking down the Bible like you never heard in your life, right? Your lying pastors, right? Your mothers, your fathers been lying to you this whole time. That's why you don't understand what you what, what, what we're saying. You don't perceive the true word of the Lord, man. You are walking in darkness. But we come out here to give you the light in the last days, man. We make the heart 
of this people fat. Hey, the people of this nation, y'all are fat, man. Right? You come out here, you eat up all your, uh, your fat steaks, you drink up all your alcohol. That's all our people know how to do. Hey, sisters, y'all believe in the Bible? Brothers, y'all believe in the Bible? Well, come hear the word of the Lord in the last days. Come and show us. Give the Lord 10 minutes if you truly believe. Our people don't believe, man. They don't even want to build with brothers out here with the Bible in the last days, right? Read. And make their ears heavy. And that's what you're seeing right there, living prophecy. Their ears are heavy. They say they believe in God, but your ears are heavy. You have no true wisdom and understanding of who and what God is, man. Y'all are ignorant. Y'all think... <laughs> Hey, well, what's up with you then, brother? Let's talk about it, brother. Are you are you of knowledge, brother? Do you have knowledge, brother? So what's your nationality, brother? Prove it to your wife right now, brother. You're ignorant too, brother. There you go. You see that? You're in the same boat, brother. Free. And shut their eyes. Our people so swift to talk, man, but don't know a damn thing, man. Right? Everybody got knowledge itself. Everybody got knowledge. Everybody knows something, right? Read what you got. The book of Psalms, chapter 9, verse 17. The wicked shall be turned into hell, uh -huh. and all the nations that forget God. Can you see that, right? All you nations, right, are going to be turned into hell. Hell is synonymous with captivity. That's what's coming to the so-called European, man. Right. Hell and bondage and captivity and, slur and servitude. That's all you can do is serve us in the last days, man. Right. You better wake up and realize it, right? You want the truth out the Bible, come up here and stand toe to toe with us on this day, man. Right? right? But y'all will never do it. Read. And shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert and be healed. And you see that? The Lord don't want everybody to convert and be healed. You understand that? That's your power. That, 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 the Lord does not want everybody to hear his word. The Lord does not want everybody to understand his word. You understand that? It was only given to a certain amount of people in the last days to come out here and prophesy the truth, man. Right? You're only of his sheep and of his fold if you hear it and understand it. If you go home and search the scriptures for yourself, that's the only way you're going to understand his word in the last days. Let me get Psalms 19 and 7 real quick. Right? Hey, you believe in the Bible, brother? Sister, y'all believe in the Bible? Hey, can I talk to you real quick then? Hey, sister, you believe in the Bible? Nope. Psalms 19 and 7. How are you going to be converted? Let's see if we blowing smoke up here. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. The Lord, the Lord is perfect. Look at the prince across the street, man. I hope she get hit by a car, man. Right? You prince across the street, man. You lost. Sister, take the blonde hair out your head, man. You finish. That's what. All right? Love yourself, sister. What? Put your true natural beauty on and stop trying to look like the damn white woman, man. All right? All right? You can give me all the middle fingers you want, right? It ain't going to get you through them gates on that day, man. What? Proud boy's going to be tearing it up, right, Ron? <laughs> right. The Lord, the Lord is perfect. Converting the soul. And the laws of God are perfect converting the soul. And that's what we come out here for in the last days is to see who want to be converted, man. Is to see who want to true, who to see who wants to repent in the last days, man. Right? Y'all ready to serve? That's all we come out here for in the last days, man. Keep reading. Verse 11. Then said I, Lord, how long? And he answered, until the cities be wasted. To what? The cities be wasted. So y'all going to be lost as hell, man. Right? Going up and down the streets of City of Raleigh, right? North Carolina on Goodwood Avenue having a good time, right? Until these cities are wasted. Until it's all death and destruction. It ain't nothing but desolate land out here. Right? Y'all going to be burnt up, man. And that's it. You're going to be finished, man. That's all you got on that day is heavy judgment. Because you refuse to hearken unto the voice of the Lord in the last days, man. We are the Lord's mouthpiece, but y'all don't want to hear truth. This is all y'all want to do is listen to trash. This is all y'all want to do is go up and down the streets of Glenwood Avenue and think it's a party, man. All right? You still there? Read. The cities be wasted 
with y'all. Hey, sister and brother, y'all believe in the Bible? Hey, hey, man, that's all we got is laughing and joking out here, man. I tell you, I asked the brother a question. He's smiling my face, boy. That's, that's different. Hey, but, hey, sisters, hey, sisters, y'all believe in the Bible? Can I talk to you real quick? Can I ask you a question? No, you ain't got time for the Lord. You see that? Read. The cities be wasted without inhabitant and the houses without man. Hey, look, your houses, your houses real soon gonna be without man, right? All of these, all these buildings, right? All of these clubs, this whole foundation is gonna be rubble. It's gonna be dust. Hey, sisters, y'all believe in the Bible? Hey, you believe in the Bible? Well, come listen, come listen if it's right then, sister. Come listen then if it's right, if you hear me. If you hear the voice of the Lord, then come stand here and listen. But you won't do it. You want to party. You got somewhere to be. Read. And the land be utterly desolate. Uh -huh. Verse 12. And the Lord have removed men far away, and there be a great forsaking in the midst of the land. And that's what you see, man. You see a great forsaken in the midst of this land of Babylon, man. Hey, you believe in the Bible, brother? Hey, so come in here the word of the Lord, man. What's your nationality, brother? Come on, man. You supposed to be a God on the land walking up and down the streets, man. Right? You supposed to be making the European bow down to you, man. Right? right? These are damn dogs, man. Right? Right? Their kingdom is over, man. Right. right? We get ready to take the kingdom back, man. Whether right? you like it, love it, or not, man. That's the warrior spirit that's sent down in the last days, man. All right? We sick of looking at you people, man. Right. You burning the Lord's nostrils up, and you burning mine up too, man. All right? Read. The epistle of Paul, 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 1. Read out. Follow after charity uh -huh. and desire spiritual gifts. How many of y'all people come out here to desire spiritual gifts in the last days, man? How many of y'all truly understand what charity is, man? Right? Charity ain't just giving somebody a couple of damn dollars, man. Right? Charity ain't just letting somebody come in your house and you giving them a damn meal, man. Charity is breaking down the word of the Lord and making understanding of it and giving you the sense, man. In the last days, showing you that you got to repent. Showing you that you got to put on the righteousness of God in the last days, man. We, But rather that ye may prophesy. That ye may do what? That ye may prophesy. And that's what we come out here to do in the last days, man. We come out here to preach. We come out here to teach. And we come out here to prophesy in the last days, man. How many of y'all people understand what we're doing? Let me get verse 6. Verse 6. Now, brethren. Oh, now, brethren, if I come unto you speaking with tongues, what shall I profit you? You know what? That was the spirit because the sister up here earlier said, I speak in tongues. I speak to God in tongues, right? But these people don't understand what that truly means. Hey, sisters. Hey, y'all got a minute for the truth in the last days? Hey, sister, you shouldn't be out here drunk like that. Come and talk to us. Huh? Maybe your, maybe the other sister can gather the understanding. Right? Your butt cheeks are coming out. Right? You got to repent, sister. Right. Put on modest apparel. Right? Before the day of destruction, man. Right. We. What shall I profit you? And I see that, right? The, uh, hey, our sisters think everything is funny. But well, we coming out here for y'all, man. We coming out here to teach repentance to y'all, sister. You believe in the Bible? So come over here and build with me then. Hey, show me this, sister. Show me you believe in God in the last days, right? Huh? You see that? The Lord meant, the Lord sent us out here to discern spirits. We see everything. We're not going to let you just pass, right? The Lord see you laughing, right? Hey, sisters, come here real quick. All right, there you go then. There you go. There you don't believe in the true word of God. That's your problem. You believe in being a homosexual what? and a damn lesbian going up and down the streets of Raleigh, North Carolina. That's what you believe. That's right. Read. Except I shall speak to you out of my revelation. And you know what? Our people are funny, man. We come out here in the last days to speak plain to our people, right? If I was to come out here, if I was to take these fringes off, right? If I was to come out here, if I was to dress up for you goddamn women, right? Right? Y'all have y'all listen to every word I gotta say if I look like one of these coons out here. Right. Right? That wanna come out here and say, listen, I got a little change, right? Let me put on my flyers gear. Let me go out here and trick the women of today's time, man. Cause they simple as hell. Right? No understanding. 
You silly ass women, man. That's what the Lord calls you in the last days, man. Silly ass women at our ease, man. We. Hold on. Princess Diana, the hell with the Queen of England, the hell with all the people, man. Huh? The hell with your queens. See that? Somebody probably got put to death down there, right? Somebody probably had the opportunity to hear the word of the Lord tonight, and you know what? Judgment happened. Just like that. That, I hope a building's on. I hope one of them clubs is on fire down there, right? I hope it's burning all the way to hell down to the ground, man. Hey, you can keep your ass walking, man. We don't care nothing about your folly, man. All right? We come out here to speak truth and make it plain to the people, man. We don't got time to play with y'all, man. All right? We. I shall speak to you. Hey, back. Hey, hey, hey. Look, hey, look, look, look. look. Just back up. Back up with whatever you got in your hand and go down there and have a good time. All right? Because you're drunk, we ain't got time for it. We? I shall speak to you either by revelation or by knowledge or by prophesying. And that's what we do, man. That's what you see before you today, man. We come out here to speak to you by knowledge, by prophesying, right? By making things plain to our people. Hey, brother and sister, y'all believe in the Bible? No? Okay. Hey, brother and sister, y'all believe in the Bible? You don't. Right. Read. Or by doctrine. Or by doctrine. We come out here with the true doctrine in the last days, man. To tell you that you are the greatest people to ever walk the face of the earth. Children of Israel. Not you other nations, man. Right? We're not out here so that you can be saved with us. Right? Walk up and down the streets paved with gold. You understand? So you can play with our rubies and our Jews. We're not out here for you. You're not going to get the same salvation as us, man. You're not going to get the same kingdom as us. Your courts is going to be on the outside of our kingdom, man. Right? That's what you heathens still have yet to realize. You claim you know all the scriptures, man, but you know nothing. Read. And even things without life giving sound, whether pipe or heart. And that's what you see, right? We come out here, right? We blow the trumpet with our voice for y'all. Every week we come out here, man. We're lifting our voices up like a trumpet, right? Like a pipe, right? Or like a harp, right? Like a musical instrument. We're making these things plain to our people in the last days. But y'all don't want to hear the voice of the Lord, man. Read. Except they give a distinction in the sounds. Unless you hear a distinction in the sound, right? We blow the trumpet, right, for an assembly. We blow the trumpet for certain feast days, right? And we blow the trumpet for times of war and battle. You best believe one day you're gonna hear that trumpet blow and it's gonna be time for war and battle, right? It's not gonna be time to go out on the highways and the byways no more, right? And it's not gonna be time to go out here and try to wake up to see Jacob no more. It's gonna be time for slaughter. It's gonna be time for hunting season, man. It's gonna be time to take you heathens and put you in chains, right? Just like y'all did to our, uh oh, look at the fight, you see that? Judgment. Judgment happening right here before your eyes. This is what you see on Glenwood Avenue, right? Right? The police gonna go by. They waiting for somebody to get put to death tonight, right? Look at them, man. And the so-called European don't even know how to fight, man. They the weakest beings on the face of the earth, man. Right? I just wanna see somebody get knocked out. That's it. They all drunk. They don't know how to fight, right? Sloppy ass people, man. Right in the last days, getting drunk and don't even know how to control your own liquor. Get hit by a car already, man, you're finished. Right, your kingdom is over and you don't know how to act, man. Right, look at him in the middle of the street, man, acting a damn fool. The fight is over already, but he still think he tough, right? This is what our people want to mimic in the last days, man, the so-called losers, man. Right, these people are walking losers, man. Two-time losers in your own kingdom, man. Y'all don't even, even understand this is your glory. You don't even understand this is y'all's story right here, right? 
But this is our story, man. What? Right? <laughs> this is what the Lord got for us written down, right? Read. How shall it be known what is piped or harped? Uh -huh. For if the trumpet give an uncertain sound, uh -huh. who shall prepare himself to the battle? Hey, who's going to prepare themselves for the battle in the last days, man? Oh. We, we blow our spiritual trumpets out here for our people. But our people are not prepared for battle, man. Our people are prepared to go up and down Glenwood Avenue or go in the club, man. Our people are prepared to go up and, uh, go up and down Glenwood Avenue and get drunk, right? The women are prepared to come out here and dress like whores. That's all you prepared for. You laid out your outfit. You knew it was a whore. You knew your titties was going to be out. Excuse my French. You knew your ass was going to be out before you left the house, right? You knew he was going to show it all tonight, right? Hey, brother, you got time for the Lord? You know I'm telling the truth, right, brother? Yeah? Hey, well, you got to tell your sister to put on modest apparel then, brother, right? That's what we don't want to hear. We don't want to tell our women to cover up, right? Hey, sisters, hey, sisters, how y'all doing? All right? There you go, right there. The woman is not shamed. She's not shameful, man. She don't even know it's a shame for her to have that season. Right? That sister's supposed to have hair of glory on her head, man. Right? She's supposed to be adorned in beauty right now, man. Right? But she looked like stink. She looked like filth, man. Right? The type of woman naturally won't walk around with a damn bald head, man. Right? That's a curse from the Lord. Right? You wonder why your hair don't grow like you want to, so you cut it off. Right? You don't even realize that's the Lord, man, that put your ass in shame. Right? That took away the glory and the beauty of you. That's why you got to put on all that makeup, right? That's why you got to put on all the jewelry. That's why you got to come out here and show your assets, right? In front of men that don't give a damn about you. Right? Hey, sisters, y'all believe in the Bible? What's your nationality? What's your origin, sister? Huh? Where you come from, sister? You got the earring showing Nefertiti Nubianism, right? But so come here then. No, I, I, I want to know what you know, sister. Don't worry about what I know. What? What do you know? Huh? Look. Our people know nothing, man. Right? They seem to know something, but they truly know if nothing, man, in what? the last days, man. Right? Finish reading that. Uh, so likewise, ye, except ye utter by the tongue words easy to be understood. That's what we do, man. We try to come out here and make words easy to be understood, man. Right? Brothers not going into damn deep doctrines and breakdowns for y'all. You understand? Going and breaking down certain Hebrew to the people who don't understand the Bible, man. We're making it plain. We're giving you the sense of the scriptures in the last days, man. But you don't really want to hear the word of the Lord. Y'all think we come out here to play, right? Like we're not studying this thing through and through throughout the week, man. Read. How shall it be known what is spoken? For ye shall speak into the air. So we shall do what? Speak into the air. And that's what we're doing now, man. We come out here to prophesy into the wind, man. Like the Lord told Ezekiel, man. Right? That's the same wisdom that Paul had, man. We're speaking into the air right now, man. Right? And our voices is traveling like many waters, man. Vibration, frequencies that you people are not on, man. You people are vibrating on a low frequency, man. You understand that? What's your nationality, brother? You're a Jamaican, brother? What does Jamaica mean, brother? Water, uh, see, now he's African. Water. You see how confused our people are? He went from Jamaican to African that quick, man. That's how confused our people are, man. No, if nothing, read. There are, it may be, so many kinds of voices. Hey, sisters, y'all believe in the Bible? Because we come out here to speak plain to you, sister. Y'all believe in the Bible? Yep, ready to run away from the word of the Lord, read. Look, see, look, she want to blow smoke this way instead of coming this way. Come talk to me, sister. Instead of blowing that smoke, that's all our people know how to do, man. Y'all think y'all look good out here. You know what I'm saying? Look at you. Hey, what's y'all nationality, man? You finished. Me? Go ahead. So many kinds of voices in the world. And none of them is without signif uh, signification. Uh -huh. Therefore, if I know not the meaning of the voice, I shall be unto him that speaketh of a barbarian 
and he that speaketh shall be a barbarian unto me. And that's what you see out here, man, right? We're barbarians, right? Y'all don't understand what we're saying, but we don't understand what y'all saying either, man. We don't, we don't understand what y'all speak of in the last days. Hey, sisters, real quick, y'all believe in the Bible? Y'all came out here turned up tonight, right? Huh? Hey, do y'all realize the Lord's going to snatch all those garments on y'all, take that flesh off you, and you ain't going to be nothing but soul and spirit and torment? Right? But that's all you want to show is your assets until somebody pull you to the side of a bush and tear that ass up. Right on Glenwood Avenue, man. Somebody going to tear your ass up on Glenwood Avenue. Don't worry about it. Keep coming out here dressed like that. You're going to meet that man that day. Right? He's going to tear you up real good. You're going to be crying. Right? I guarantee you'll never dress like a whore again once your ass get raped, man. Right? But that's what y'all fail to realize. That's the judgment coming from the Lord, man. You think I'm lying? Give me Isaiah 13 and 12 real quick if you think I'm telling the story. Right? Y'all don't think rape is in the Bible, man? Y'all don't think y'all gonna be finished in the last days? Y'all think y'all gonna continue to walk up and down the street of Glenwood Avenue dressed like whores all night? Right? Y'all gonna be taken on that day, man. Right? You're going to be running to the men of the Lord. You're going to see the fringes down the block. And you're going to run to your Lord on that day. Oh, right? Please. And the Lord, hey, hey, in the middle of the Lord, going to have to clean you up. Put your ass in the river. Right? Clean you up on that day. Take all the filth off you. And you ain't going to have no, no choice but to serve the men of the Lord on that day. Yeah. Right? Right? You're going to be number 20. You ain't going to be number one on that day. Because you ain't number one in the Lord's eyes, man. Yeah. You're going to be number 20 to the man that you got to serve, right. right? And you're going to be finished. You're going to have to wait in line, man. You're going to have day 20. That's for you. You got day 20. I'm sorry. You was too much a whore in the world. I don't know how many brothers you've been with. Clean yourself up. Get right. Read that. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 13 and verse 12. I will make a man... More precious than fine gold. See, the Lord can make a man more precious than fine gold, man. That's what y'all fail to realize. It is not about you damn women all the time, man. Right? You women are so selfish. Y'all think y'all go here, right? Y'all come out here and costly away and, and, and costly jewels. Your garments, y'all all flashy, right? But the Lord gonna make a man what? More precious than fine gold. Even a man. Then the golden wedge of a fur. And that's what you're going to see on that day, man. Right, it's, it's right on there, you see? Right? That's what you're going to see on that day, man, is the, is the Lord turning his men into fine gold, man. Right? No longer are we going to be put down in the sight of the black woman, man. Our black women look at us like we trash, man. Right? They look at us like we're nothing, right? Right? But we come out here to service the Lord in the last days, man. You gonna realize you're gonna look at us like like who you call Jesus Christ on that day, man. You ain't gonna have no choice. You're gonna see your glory. You're gonna see your story on that day. But it's gonna be too late for you, man. Right? You ain't gonna have no choice but to serve a righteous man of the Lord. You're not gonna no longer serve these wicked niggas walking up and down the streets of Glenwood Avenue with their jewelry on and their flashy ass clothing that don't mean nothing. Right? Read. Right? Verse 16. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces. That's what we're waiting on. We're waiting to dash these damn children to pieces, man. Right? All you wicked ass heathens, right? All you wicked ass Israelites that don't know you Israelites, right? The Lord gonna dash your children to pieces. They're going to be nothing on that day, man. Read. Before their eyes, their houses shall be spoiled. And your house is going to be spoiled, man. No longer are you going to be able to hide in your houses. Hey, brother and sister, y'all believe in the Bible? No? Y'all too old to be out and come with Adam anyway, man. Seriously, man. Go ahead and go home. It's nothing out here for y'all, man. Y'all should be showing and being an example to this generation. Right? Who lied to you, man? Right. Read. And their wives ravished. And their wives what? Hey, hey y'all believe in the Bible? All right, so come here and prove it then, right? Let me show you something. Hey, hey, look. I'm not even talking to you, man. You see that? Man, you're the damn devil, man. Yep. There you go. Read that one more time. Verse 16. Their children also 
shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. That's what you're going to see out here, man. You're going you're gonna to see a, a whole lot. Because a lot of these women ain't y'all damn wives, man. Right? Y'all just borrowing them for a little bit. Right? Y'all just... <laughs> Y'all, y'all just borrowing them for a few, you know, for a few worthless years, man. But they're not really your wives, man. The Lord going to take them apart, right? He going to split them away from you in the day of battle, right? The so-called uh, black woman that's walking around here want to be masculine, want to be dykes, right? Want to be studs, right? Y'all going to be finished on that day. Right. You're not going to be able to protect that woman that you with, man. Right. right? The Lord said he going to do what to our women? And their wives... Ravished. Hey, your wives gonna be ravished on that day. That's a prophecy in the scriptures, but y'all don't care to listen to it, right? Y'all think y'all gonna be able to continue to party all night, walk up and down Glenwood Avenue with your cheap ass paintings, man? Right, right. <laughs> Read. Right. Right. Hell with that painting, man. You read your piece. It's the Book of Isaiah, chapter one and verse three. The ox knows his owner. And the ass is master's crib. So you're supposed to know your crib, black man and black woman, right? You think your crib is one of these damn high-rise buildings over here, right? right? You think your crib is going up and down Glenwood Avenue getting drunk and turning the hell up every weekend, man, right? Read. But Israel, uh, who? But Israel uh, does not know. Uh, My people do not consider. You see, that's a shame. Our people do not consider that they're going to be destroyed in the last days, man. Right. Our people do not consider that your women are going to be raped in the last days, man. Right. Our people do not consider that race wars are coming to this earth that's in right. the last days, man. Right? Yahoo! You ready for that? You ready for that? You, you ready for that? Hey, come here real quick. Is this your God? Yeah, that's your God right there? Yeah. Yeah? No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Let me ask you a question. What's your name? Yes. Your name's Jack? Yes. All right, Jack. Yes. What do you think about slavery, Jack? It's fucked up. Right? Do you think some people got to pay for this right here? What do you think should happen to your people? Are your people responsible for that, Jack? We come out of a truth in the last days, Jack. Don't be afraid. Just answer the question. All right? Your people did this? This right here, you see that, Jack? Huh? Right? Hey, you know what the Lord said for your people that did this to his people? Right? You know what You know what he said to you, Jack? You know what the Lord said you, that you gotta do for this, Jack? Huh? The Lord said, the Lord said that you gonna have to bow your behind down on your knees, right? With them shorts on right now and that CCSU hat. You gonna have to bow down on your knees and serve right, these Jack. people right here, Jack. You understand that? Right. You prepared for that, Jack? If I read it to you, you gonna be prepared for it, Jack? Isaiah 48. You know what? So you might want to go ahead and start kneeling down right now, Jack. Just go ahead. What's what? No, 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 no. Hold on, Jack. Just look at it, Jack. You see that, Jack? Who did it, Jack? Who's responsible for this, Jack? Let me get Revelation 13 and 9. Are you ready for that one in Isaiah 40? That's right, hold on. Let me get Revelations 13 and 9. Hey, listen to this, Jack. Listen up good. Hey, you want to listen up good, too? Because this is your nation right here. You're going to have to pay for this, too. That's right. See this right here? We're going into prophecy right now, right? Not, listen, this is truth right here, right? Okay. All right, listen up good. The book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 9. If any man have an ear... You got ears, Jack? Listen up clear. Let him hear. Hey, wait, wait, Jack. Hold on, hold on, Jack. Hold on, Jack. Wait, 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 Jack. You, you, you finished that. Right? Two feet. Two feet. You finished, Jack. You got to stand up on your own, Jack. Right? What the? Wait. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Your people did this. You admitted that, right? Y'all led us into captivity. You agree with that? Your, your people, your people are Europeans, right? You're a so-called white man, right? You come from the Caucasus Mountains? You're Caucasian, right? Okay, so you're Caucasian, right? You come from Italy, you're Caucasian, man. All right, you come from the Caucasus Mountains. You understand your history? No, he said he come from Italy. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, you know, same people, right. right? Read. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. See, your, your original place was Mount Seir, right? Everywhere y'all dwelt was in the mountains, right? You understand that? You're Edomites according to the Bible, by the way, right? This is a judgment for y'all. Read. Hold on, wait, 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 Jack, wait, wait. I don't know why you're looking at me like that, man. I'm not interested in you. I'm not interested in you. All right, yeah, ill you. Ill you. You know, you Well, there you go. Repent, brother. The hell with that white woman. Read. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Would you say that's righteous judgment? As your people put God's people into captivity and slavery, is it righteous judgment that you go into slavery too? You, you said it's up. Then we just read it. We just read it. Wait, Jack. Wait. We just read it. Do you understand that? But listen to this prophecy too. You want to come over here too? Come here, man. Come build. Hold on, Jack. 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 Just stand. Jack. We gonna give you a place to sit and settle in a minute. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter forty-nine, verse twenty-three. Bring it up. And kings shall be thy nurse and father. Hey Jack, listen and understand this, right? Hey you too, man. In slavery, right? Did we serve your did we serve your people? My people haven't come to this country yet. What? I said my people haven't come to the country yet. Hey, were black people and slaves under you Romans? When you go into the sea, we go into the history of the gladiators, right? The gladiators were black men, man. Alright? The real gladiators were black men. You understand that? And we had to serve in your games, right? Right? Under Caesar, right? Under Caesar and Mark Anthony, right? You know that history, right? These your people. You ever heard of Mark Anthony? Nero. You're a Roman? You heard of Nero? You heard of, you heard of all of these different people? You don't know who, you don't know who Nero is? Come on, Nero, if you Nero finished. Caligula. Yeah. You know who Caligula is? He's not a good guy. You know he's not a good guy? But those are your people. Right. Your the people the Romans. Listen, your people were responsible for this. Do you know Nero was responsible for the first false flag? That's right. Right? Do you know yeah, do you know Nero burnt down the cities in Rome? That's and blamed right. it on Israelites? That's right. Do you know that history? I know he burnt them down. He burnt them down and blamed them on Israelites. That's why Romans conquered the land of Jerusalem. Do you right. understand that? That's what happened in 70 AD. Bring you people up. don't understand your history. I don't. But we come out here in the truth for the last days. Man. That's right. All right. So hold on, read, wait, watch, wait, read. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 49, verse 23. And kings shall be thy nursing fathers, and their queens thy nursing mothers. They shall bow down to thee. So if you know anything and you respected the true word of the Lord, the Lord is telling you to bow down. You got a place to sit right there, bow down. The Lord said to bow down, man. That's what the Lord said. You believe in the Bible? The Lord said bow down before the men of the Lord, man. Are you going to break that law for your people so bow down? That's for your people. Bow down, man. No, nah, don't touch me, man. I right? either 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 you're going to do as I say or you going to, or you can dismiss yourself. You too, man. This is what the Lord is telling you to bow down in the last days. And follow suit with him. Oh, see that? He wants to leave on that note, right? Hey, well, look, Jack, if you're not going to bow down, take a walk. Take a walk, Jack. If you're going to be defiant, bow, either bow down, right, or be defiant and take a walk. Jack, listen, either bow down, you're going to do it anyway. You're going to do it anyway. You finish right now. Go ahead, ask your question. Hey Jack, you're finished. Take a walk. Just take a walk. I'm done. I'm done, Jack. You can't even talk. Just go ahead, man. Go ahead. I'm, I'm yeah. You no good up here. All right, y'all believe in the Bible, man? No. Okay. No. Not to answer that question like that. No, that makes a lot of sense, bro. Huh? What make a lot of sense? Everything. Everything I just said. Oh, you said this didn't make sense? No, I said it did. Oh, it did. Okay. Hey, what's your nationality, man? Oh, What's your nationality? All right, all right, all right, bro. All right, all right. All right, man, you finished. You finished, Jack. All right. 
and have a good time. Finish getting drunk, man, and get hit by a car tonight, Jack. Right. All right, that's all we got for you, Jack. Hey, what's up? Y'all believe in the Bible? Oh, come here, come here, come here, come here. Let me get Matthew's 24 and 14. Jack is finished, man. And I'm going I'm to close it up right here, man. Jack is finished. 24 14. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 14. Bring it out. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. See, that's what y'all have yet to realize is that this is the true gospel that has been coming out before all the world to witness before. Hey, out, my hey, let's That's talk right. about it. That means judgment is coming to you. Get ready. Hey, get ready to serve, man. Get ready to go in captivity. You're absolutely right. Even the drunk devil is speaking prophecy right now. Look at that. He said the Euphrates River is drying up. That's the that's the most truth I heard tonight. Man, it sure is drying up. Judgment's on the way. Read. For a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. The end is almost here, that's and that's right. the end of my time. And I want to give all glory and honor to our Creator, the of the, the ruler of the heavens and the earth, right? The Hamashiach Yahweh, right? The Yahweh, why Yahweh shine? Call Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh shine. Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh shine, right? And death to all you heathen nations, man. That's right. right? Death to everybody that despised the word of the Lord, right? Death to everybody that wants to turn their back on the men of the Lord in the last days, man. And Kwame Ashala. Kwame Ashala. Kwame Ashala. That means wise Israel. And y'all sisters believe in the Bible? Y'all ain't got time, man. Y'all just got time to turn up. All right. All praise. All praise. I'm